Hi, my name is Andrea from Power Business Solutions. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to do aerial scouting from the previously done real-time mapping with your bluegrass parrot fields. So now you have your results on your parrot fields applications. Your NDVI shows you where there might be a problem in your field. In order to go analyze this, you can now establish aerial scouting points. Instead of having to walk there, you can just send your drone to fly there. You do this by adding annotations. Add a, an annotation, add. You select the point in the map, just call it A. I wanna go see this red area here in my field. Now maybe I have another area that I'd like to know better what's going on. It's gonna be point B. For all these points, I make sure that scouting point is selected here in the Parrot Fields application. Once I placed points everywhere that I wanna send the drone to, I exit from annotations. I connect again to the drone by selecting aerial scouting path. Choose the layer on which I created my points, which was NDVI field one. And you can see that I have now point A and point B displaying on my map. I make sure both points are selected and I click continue. I choose uh, flight height. Now it's at 70 meters. Here it's very safe to fly even lower, so I won't make the drone unnecessary fly up very high. I click apply, I click check. It runs again through the checklist. If everything is okay, just continue, take off, and Parrot Bluegrass Fields automatically flies to annotation A. Once Parrot Bluegrass Fields has reached a point, it will wait for you to do your manual inputs. You can now with your Sky Controller 2 fly the drone even closer to the ground. With the front camera, you can look all the way down. You can also adjust for the light. And you see this is our red spot actually in the field here. Now we can take a picture either via the application or through the A button on your Sky Controller 2. Button B takes a video. And once you're done with your annotation point A, you just click next in your application and Parrot Bluegrass Fields will again fly at the altitude specified to the next point. At the next point again, we can lower the position of the Parrot Bluegrass Fields, change the camera to look down and see if we can recognize anything going on there. There is a little hole within the field, respectively no vegetation, and this is causing our red pattern in the NDVI. Again, we take a picture via the sky controller or the application. Once we are done, we send the drone back to the home waypoint. Once your power bluegrass field has landed, the pictures are automatically downloaded. Click continue. Now you can go have a look at the annotations that you took per scouting point. And that's it for aerial scouting. Now we take our data back to the office for further analysis.